Hello guys, I want to officially welcome you to this great show you guys have really been waiting for, My Hustle. My Hustle is a platform where we celebrate youth's positive impact in our society. Through this show right here on Maisha TV, you guys are going to learn how to turn your talents into a hustle. Our today's guest is a young successful entrepreneur, a teacher by profession, a former Miss Tuaris in Bungoma County. Let's get social. I'm at Brenda K. Twitter, Maisha TV KE, Maisha Television Kenya on Facebook. I'll be reading out some of your tweets and comments right here on this show. Before we introduce our today's guest, let's see what's been trending this week. This week on What's Training, we have the latest gossip from the entertainment industry in East Africa and the movies you should check out this November. African princess Nandi is giving many sleepless nights after she was spotted wearing what many claim to be an engagement ring. The singer whose life completely changed after venturing into music few years ago is now ranked among the top artists in East Africa and if I'm not wrong, also the hottest. Anyway, just a few months ago, the singer lost the love of her life, Tanzanian media mogul Ruj Mutahaba, to a known illness leaving her all on her own. Kenyan Afropop artist Nameless has grown all in the Kenyan music scene, having graced it for 20 years now. The veteran artist spoke about the dynamics of the Kenyan music industry and what should be done both by the young talents and those already well established. Sadly for him, it's unfortunate that the artists are now hopping onto the new Gengeton vibe with upcoming artists instead of sticking to their own lane. Award-winning comedian Eric Omondi has fueled confusion among fans after revealing that Chantel will fly in for Christmas barely days after confirming they talk daily. What raised eyebrows most was the fact that after dumping Maribe for Chantel, before reversing the situation, he still has no stand on his woman. If anything, it has left us more confused out having lifetime with Jackie and their son but still in daily contact with Chantel. South African rapper Shoma Josie has finally met her icon, WW wrestler John Cena. Cena surprised Majozi in California as she was performing her hit single John Cena on the Kelly Clarkson show. Her reaction on realizing that the popular wrestler was behind her as she sang her heart out was pro Kenyan rapper Calligraph Jones was disappointed after fans robbed him off of his 60,000 shillings chain, but apparently it was not stolen in Kisumu. Saturday, October the 26th, the OG had his show go down in the Lakeside City, a performance that reportedly saw a fan snatch off his valuable neck piece. So he left the stage to mingle with fans Getting back on stage, he announced that he's missing his chain but sent love his way to whoever took it. In the movies today, we feature the movie El Camino. El Camino is a Breaking Bad movie in a 2019 American New York Western crime thriller film that serves an epilogue to the television Breaking Bad. Series creator Vince Gillan wrote, directed, and produced the film, while Aaron Paul reprises his role as Jesse Pinkman. The plot follows what happens to Pinkman following the events of the series finale. Several actors including Jesse Plemons, Kristen Ritter, Jonathan Banks and Brian Cranston reprise the original roles from the series. El Camino was also the final film to feature Robert Foster who died on the day of its release. <laughs> Make sure to check these and more movies on Maisha Night Movies here on Maisha TV where you choose it, you watch it and you definitely love it. Ladies and gentlemen, as I told you earlier, she's a former beauty queen, a teacher by profession and a very successful entrepreneur. Today on Profine we feature our guest Kate Sabina. Catherine Sabina was born in the year 1993, 
went to Christ the King Primary School and Gateway Junior Academy. Kate, as many know her, went to Lugulu Girls High School and later joined Moy University where she pursued a Bachelor of Arts, English and Literature. The former beauty queen who has bagged a number of crowns in the western region and in campus is married and a mother of one. Kate loves painting and drawing. Despite her busy schedule, as the CEO Mama Bear Commercial Cleaning Company, the young beautiful entrepreneur loves spending time with her family. She's right here with us. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? You're looking up. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank you for having me and I'm glad to be here with you today. Oh, welcome. I mean, a teacher by profession, a very successful entrepreneur, a former beauty queen. How do you manage? How is your journey? Um, I must admit it hasn't been a walk in the park, but again, we ladies are good at multitasking, so I'm enjoying every bit of it. Yeah, sure. Hold it, hold it. Let's go back to the basics. Our viewers are really waiting to know who this kind of lady is. Kindly introduce yourself. I'm Catherine Sabina. I'm 26 years old. I'm a mom, I have a two-year-old son, I'm a wife, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a former beauty queen, I'm a trained teacher, I graduated last year with an undergraduate degree in education, uh, English literature to be specific. That's basically me. Would oh, like, you mind me asking, like, does entrepreneurship run in the family or just the only entrepreneur in your, the whole family? It does run in the family. My mom is an entrepreneur, so I'm not the only one who decided who has decided to venture into entrepreneurship. I got it from my mom. What about you a graduate from my university, right? Yeah. Why is it that you never decided to be a teacher, you just decided to be an entrepreneur? Um, it has been a year since I graduated. And instead of idling and uh, waiting for those government jobs, I decided to take it upon myself to create employment for myself. And like the other people who opt maybe to kuka nyumbani ku idol wangoje kuajiriwa, I decided to come up with something. Pia mimi niji employ nikingoja yoka zingine kama ifatoli takuja. Inipate mbele kama ni me make some progress. So what's the name of this, like, your car wash or rather that fucking place of yours? What's its name? Okay, it's not only a car wash, it's called Mama Bear Commercial Cleaning. We offer various services. Apart from it being a car wash, we also offer cleaning services. With okay, so like what inspired the name Mama Bear or rather why did you decide you should just name it Mama Bear? Um, most car wash and cleaning services are associated with men yeah. so I decided to try out something unique to give it a feminine touch and because I'm a mom and a proud one at that matter I decided to name it Mama Bear Great. So is your son Bear or rather you just decided the name Mama Bear that's why without any other reason um, Mama Bear is associated with moms who care and love their baby, like a woman who is protective of their babies, so, yeah. What's the secret behind the success of entrepreneurship? Mm, I think <laughs> um, persistence and consistency. You know, most people are venture into entrepreneurship, maybe when attack you when to when they are in a quite successful maramoja, but they don't know it's all about kukwa persistent na kupatiana two time like it's one step at a time musinge tu kidani itakuwa successful overnight apana ni kitu tu na jenga pole pole one step at a time na itakuwa mambo itakuwa tu sawa with time so can i say entrepreneurship is for everyone i don't think so i don't think it's for everyone Sikila mtu wako na yoro ya kuvumilia, kuwatch kitu grow from scratch. Mpaka ifike mali, anataka ifike. So, siya minini, it's for everyone. No. 
so people see the success but they don't really know the story behind it can you kindly tell us your backstory um after graduating i was okay i wasn't doing anything at that moment so i graduated in august last year so kuka nyumbani around september october nikaanza kufikiria naweza fanya nini at least to generate some income so i had ideas different ideas i wrote them down i decided to weigh out options nikijaribu kuona nitafanya nini i also discussed with my hubby akanisaidia to come up with various ideas so tukasema and the cleaning services was on top of the list so tukasema acha tupange our finances then january this year tukikuwa ready we start off yeah me, that was the transition from being a teacher to an entrepreneur um okay i can't really say that i'm quit teaching no it's just that sija pata hiyo opportunity at the moment and maybe some people they are comfortable kukaa tu as they wait for that opportunity ya kukuwa employed but for me i didn't feel comfortable kukaa tu ningoje at hiyo opportunity ikuje kama tu nipate nimekaa uko no that's why i decided to create that opportunity for myself rather than waiting for let's say TSC in the employ that's why i decided to venture into entrepreneurship so how is your view how is work like how is it is it work in western region wow i can't really tell because i'm still new in entrepreneurship i'm not even a year old so i can't really tell and so far in all the western towns ni bungoma peke ndo nime work so sizi do about the other towns in western province so i can't tell what are some of the challenges you guys face at your business mostly is an availability of water you know most of the time tuna face uh, water rationing in town and ndi biashara yetu tuna work na maji sana so you can find maybe your maji iko to my store in a to last But let's say maji pote for like two days hiyo maji tume store ina to last kitu one and a half days so hiyo siku tunatumia siku ya kwanza then the second day maji naisha na hiyo maji yenye watu wanauza it's very expensive oh, it's 1000 per liter na hawauzi anything less than uh, 3000 liters so that's 3k then let's say umenunua hiyo for 3000 then that same time after umenunua tena maji narudi so you see hiyo ni loss yeah so mostly it's an availability of water we're going for a short break and we come back our guest will still be with us continue sending your feedback about the show I'm on Twitter I'm Brenda K Maisha TV KE and on Facebook Maisha Television Kenya we'll be back shortly It's festive season. Get a fully connected starting set like dish for an amazing offer of only 2999 shillings or a decoder with subscription at an unbelievable festive offer of only 1499 shillings. Children can enjoy amazing cartoons on Nickelodeon while for women, great suits and drama on Novella E+ and Rainbow TV. For men, it's Arsenal and Manchester United. You can also pay one month and enjoy two weeks free on a higher bouquet. For more information call 0719 077077. Start times. Enjoy. Digital life Na hili ndilo ombi langu kubwa kwako nahitaji kumuona Hii ni riwaya familia mbili kutoka Tanga Tanzania na Mombasa Kenya mm, You are just a maid tu wewe Sawa mimi ni maid Nakupenda sana mimi Kutana naye Daudi Michael Queen Mwangi Tekla Mjata Ruth Mwangi na Yusuf Ali Nira Mona badala ka idol acha nianze tu biashara hapa mzuri hapa Hi everyone my name is Brenda Kisongoshi 
and this right here is your favorite TV show, My Husband. My Hustle is a platform where we celebrate youth with positive impact in our society. Through this show, you learn how to turn your talent into a hustle. Join me, your host, Brenda Kisongochi, every Saturday on Maisha TV. Let's engage, let's talk, and promote our talent. My Hustle brought to you by Start Times App. Download Start Times App from Google Play and enjoy over 40 channels on Start Times platform and all services offered by Start Times. Start Times, enjoy digital life. Welcome back. As I told you earlier, she's still with us here. You can continue sending your feedback about the show at Twitter. I'm Brenda K, Maisha TV KE, and on Facebook, Maisha Television Kenya. Can you kindly can you kindly tell us the services offered by Mama Bear? Um, at the car wash, we have various services like uh, body wash, vacuum cleaning, under the hood wash, under carriage wash, uh, waxing and dashboard spraying and to our loyal customers we have our loyal card you can grab one for yourself today and it has so many offers and apart from the car wash services we also offer carpet cleaning seat cleaning we clean seats um, we also offer post construction cleaning kama mtu akona building ni mpya na ni chafu na nataka washwa kunsaidia kuosha Tuko hapo kwa ajili ya kazi kama hizo. Also, kama mtu akona party na ajui anzie wapi ni kuchafu, aniza pia kutupigia simu, offer that after party cleaning services. Also, pre-move in and move out cleaning. Kama mtu wa mehama, badala kuwacha landlord nyumba nye ni chafu na ye mwenye pia ataki kuosha, aniza Twitter pia sisi tukamosha. Na pia kama untika kuingia kwa nyumba mpya na hauna yu time ya kuklini, ukitaka yu thara wash, tunafanya yu kazi. So guys, Mama Bear located, or rather, how can people get you? Um, we are located at Haas Filling Station. It's located right opposite Bungoma Cereals Board. We are right next to the service bay. Hmm. How can people get you, or rather, how can people get you? Maybe they want to communicate to you on phone or rather, can you kindly give a way out how they can communicate to you? Unfortunately, we don't have a social media fan page at the moment, but uh, can I give out my phone number? Yeah, sure you can. Okay, my phone number is 0723830225. Call, ask us for assistance and we will be ready to help you at any given time. I know there is that one thing you always wish to tell someone out there, a very young entrepreneur. This is the opportunity. Can you kindly do so? Mm, be your own hero. Everyone out there is trying to save themselves. So, jitume, jimotivate, jichoche. And another thing, nothing is impossible to a willing heart. So, yeah. And also don't forget to put God first. That has been a great lady, being a mother, a teacher by profession, a very successful entrepreneur. Guys, continue sending your feedback about the show. Maisha TV KE on Twitter, Brenda K, Maisha Television on Facebook. Thank you for keeping locked at Maisha TV. Until we meet next time, I've been your host, Brenda Kisongochi.